camera's rolling. Yep. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Ford's Talks. You have Ron, Jerry, and Skip, and today we are here doing a lot of blue screen for our orcs, for our epic fantasy series, The Rangers. So we were filming, we have some, what's called a practical effect here, which you can physically touch it, it's not CGI, we're not doing it in post. This is something that uh, you can interact with and that you actually wear. So it's something that you can physically touch. So a practical effect. And so we had the question uh, that we want to run past you guys is, what is the best practical creature? So Skip, why don't you give us the best practical creature that you have? All right, in your so, opinion. Yeah. Right, right, right. That's, that's all it's going to be. <laughs> right, right. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, the thing, and I'm talking about John Carpenter's the thing, yeah, with uh, Kurt Russell, yeah, and you know it goes through so many different transformations, and so many of those I are mean, just like creepy, scary, oh yeah, disgusting, and practical yeah. effects throughout that film. Yeah, not and CGI. It. You could see them; they were great. The no. dog opening up, ah, oh, freaky. Yeah. The, the blobs just shooting up through the ceiling. Yep. The, Spider legs coming out of the head. So, so that's a good point. That's a good point. point. So you had to go back a ways to, to get to a practical effect. That's true. Because so much practical effects are, are actual mechanical, organic, Things that you can touch that real, tangible right. uh, uh, creations in a studio somewhere. Yeah. Kind of like what we're doing. You explained all that. Yeah. But to, to the point of, you know, you got to go back a yeah. little ways because so much is CGI today. So yeah. that's kind of where we're... We're sort of trying to divide that. So yeah. I'm going to go back a little ways, too, with mine. Sure. Uh, Legend, the big devil Satan guy in Legend. Yep. He had traps that rivaled mine. <laughs> yep. And, uh, and he was big you know, with the giant those horns, horns and, and just and stomping, coming after him. Big red, yeah. you know. He did have the hooves. Yeah, too, the it? face, everything. I just thought at the time when you saw that, it was, I think, one of the best uh, portrayals of, of the devil ever. Yeah, but actually, also, that's true. Also, um, just you know, I think an incredible job they did there. With yeah, because the, now that would all be CGI'd, and they wouldn't they wouldn't have them. So what's yours, Ron? Uh, what you got? Um, you know, it was hard, but I think hands down, it is the Predator. With the the part that I think is the practical part is of course the face, the animatronics of the face and everything. Everything else it looks very humanoid, and it's just makeup, special effects makeup. But the, with the animatronic of the face opening up, that's scary and crazy which leads me to a next follow-up question because the predator freaked me out when i saw the yeah, predator picture. is a good one definitely, definitely. um so a, the best the scariest one that you have on top of it skip back to you what is the scariest one you're not gonna snake <laughs> go ahead <laughs> right so the scariest one you know uh i think i gotta go with freddy krueger no oh, yeah yeah, and so many scary effects in, in in especially that first Freddy Krueger film. Yeah, um, you know where he's coming through the wall. Yeah. See, what he's, I think was scary about Freddy was burnt. the concept that you couldn't get away from yeah. him. Yeah, like you couldn't. So uh, maybe it's, sleep. it's also the concept because he's not. It's the total package. He's scary. not the coolest. Yeah. Monster right. that I can think of. The coolest scary monster. All right, I've got the coolest. All right. I've got the coolest. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Um, Pan's Labyrinth. When she goes down into I thought of Guillermo the, del Toro, that, he's phenomenal. That chamber and the, that that scary faces yep. dude is sitting there, yep. hands on the table, and then he has the eyes in his hands and starts yep. looking around. Um, that was, Great. I think, one of the creepiest, definitely scariest creatures ever. And just the idea of there you are, trapped alone in a room with him, and how do you get out? And you're almost yeah. Uh, and what's he gonna like eat you alive or something? I don't know. That, that was yeah. that was uber uber creepy. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, and it's a good point. It's not just scary looking. It has to be the whole package of story, too. Uh, for me, you know, it was hard to pick out creepy, scary, so I went with Alien. Yeah. And not just Alien, but your soldiers, your foot soldiers. I thought the coolest moment was when Ripley goes up against the Queen Mother. And it's, she's there, and she's, you know, so face it's the to queen face. mother. It's yeah, the yeah. queen more specifically, and with the drool and the nonsense. And the but so now that, that wasn't thing. CGI. No, all that was practically done. They actually created a real big uh, alien looking mm -hmm. thing. Of course, the soldiers were all in, you could see, you know, BTS stuff on that, and you could see them. But the queen mother also 
was an actual practical effect that they created, not CGI. So what is your favorite creature film that has the best practical effect? Make sure you comment below and know. subscribe and let us know. So until then, we'll see you next time. Forge. Forge.